How to protect or hide CSS code. Welcome to Web Style Press. You can hide or protect CSS code to a certain degree, but let's be real first. It's common for web developers and software engineers to reverse engineer stuff. An experienced software engineer can look into whatever you're trying to hide by implementing certain techniques. So these techniques are not foolproof but can give anybody tough time to figure out. I have got this HTML page. I have linked custom.css file with it. And this is a simple div with class container. I'm using bootstrap for basic styling. And this is a paragraph, single paragraph. This is my CSS file, a CSS file that will give me output in this custom.css file. And this is the output for the web page. We have linked custom.css file. If I right click at the document and click at view page source, you can see I've got this custom.css file linked here. I can click at this custom.css file and here is all the CSS code that is unprotected right now. One way is to hide or protect CSS code is to use import method. You can hide CSS code by importing it. So this is our custom.css file. I'm creating another file here and I am naming it main.css file. I will use add the rate of import and then I will call my custom.css file in this import and then I will link this main.css file instead of custom.css file. Now I will refresh this page. I will right click and click at view page source. Now I can see this main.css file linked here. If I will click at this CSS file, all I will see here is import statement and not the CSS code. So this is very basic way to protect or hide CSS code. Second way is to minify CSS code. I am using a CSS file. I will again link custom.css file here and uh, I am using SAS and I am using an extension live SAS compiler for Visual Studio Code that converts this code into this custom.css file and that extension also gives me this custom.min.css file. So this is minified version of that same CSS file. Live SAS compiler. And this is Live SAS compiler. This is the extension. When I save my file, SAS file, it gives me CSS output and then it also gives me minified version of that CSS file. Now I can link this file now, custom.min.css file. As you can see, this code is not much readable. Right click, view page source and custom.min.css and this code is not easily readable. However, you can unminify it easily. If you don't work with SAS or live SAS compiler, you can use another Visual Studio Code extension that is minify. If you have got this CSS file, you can use this extension that is minify. With this extension installed and with CSS file opened, you can press F1 key and then click at minify to convert this CSS file into minified version. That command will give output for minified version in this same folder. So you can minify files right from Visual Studio Code and minification also can protect your CSS code. 
third way is to obfuscate code or modify code in a way that it becomes hard to figure out. Use any online tool to obfuscate or modify CSS code. I have got this tool. And if I have the CSS code, I can paste it here and I can click at obfuscate. This will give me this kind of code here. And I can replace this code in custom.css file. And I can link custom.css again. Now this CSS code is even more hard to make sense of, more complicated than minified version of code. So this technique can also be used to hide or protect CSS code. As you can see this tilde and is equal to, this code is definitely more hard to figure out. And if I see the output for this page, it will work without any errors. But as I mentioned, these techniques are not foolproof. So please keep this in mind. All right. Thank you for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.